Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? Let's talk. Let's talk Southern Sunday Luncheon today. Mama picked up some T-Bones on sale. Mama just paid $4.99 pound. Not bad for two T-Bones. Um, Save a lot has those on sale occasion. So we're having steak, some baked potatoes, and a salad. And that's it, Aunt Mama. That's right. You got any dessert, Mama? We've got that little cherry pie you bought. Oh, we got the little cherry pie we bought at the farmer's market. What I'm going to make for y'all right quick, and this is going to be quick, so just get you a pen and pencil and you're going to write this down right quick, is a little compound butter. And you can you can do it any way you want. You put your favorite seasoning in there. This is softened butter, and this is a half a stick. I mean, this is going to be just a little bit that I'm going to add on that steak is when it's uh, done. Spatula's heavier than the bow. That's how little I'm making. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do, that's rosemary, and I'm going to have to chop that up. And this is dill. I thought that was already ground. No, sir. No, it's not, is it? And this is dill, and I'm literally putting just a pinch. Because with a half a stick of butter, you're not going to have much in there. Mama, do you have that mortal and pestle? Oh, oh she's getting it. So that's just a pinch of dill, as you can see, and literally a pinch. Just to give it just a little bit of flavor. You can, like, you can put any flavors you want in here. This is just a little bit of basil. And I'm putting just a pinch of that in there. Just a pinch of basil. And then I'm going to, now I learned my lesson on this, on, you all learn it with me one day. If you have rosemary and you're going to put it in butter, run it through a mortar and pestle or, or grind it up some way because those big old pieces of rosemary are hard to deal with when you're trying to eat them. Uh, it's like eating little sticks. You don't want that. So take your mortar and pestle and just get it kind of mixed up good because it, it's crunchy. <laughs> Mama said, what you put in? <laughs> I swear I thought it wouldn't hurt for a little butter, but it does. I thought it would soften. No. Mm -mm. Didn't do it, Mama. No. Just crunching on sticks. Mama said, what kind of sticks did you put in that butter? I said, sorry, Mama. But this I'm will... raised country, but I ain't started eating sticks yet. <laughs> <laughs> I do have some fresh rosemary outside, but um, I didn't want to have to... I didn't know how much really it would take. Usually when you use fresh herbs, it takes a little more than dry. You gotta, It takes more to get the same flavor. Uh, so I didn't want to have to wait and do that. And this rosemary smells so good. When you start mashing it up, it releases all the oils that are in it. And it, it starts really coming to life and smelling good. So I'm just going to put a pinch of this in here as well. In your spare time you need to grind all that up in that jar and put it back and you have it ready. Mama, you act like I got spare time. I have no time. Oh, that's right. So I'm putting a pinch of this in here and as Mama says, I'm putting the excess back in the jar because I need to grind up all of it. I will, Mama, in my spare time. In your spare time. I'm proud of you. So that's it, folks. That's all I'm putting in there. Three ingredients, and it's got, this is salted butter, so it already has salt. So this is a pinch of, of uh, and now if you're going to use a whole stick of butter, use a little bit more. But this is just a pinch of rosemary, a pinch of dill, and a pinch of basil. And I'm just going to simply blend it up just like this. And uh, that's all there is to compound butter. It's not complicated. It's just compound. So don't let it fool you. And it, what you do is I do that this. Rosemary smells good. It smells fresh, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, what you do is you do this before you start your meal. And that way you've got those flavors all married in there together. And then time you get ready to put it on there, it's good and good to go. Uh, and I always put just a little bit of butter on my steak at the end of the cooking process. And let it melt over the top of it. See, every bit of this fits on the spatula. <laughs> you did make a small amount. I made a small amount. It's just me and Mama. And I'm just going to put a little bit on each um, piece of steak. You can. I have done this before. And put it in saran wrap and roll it up. And um, you roll it up in a log or whatever you want to call it. And put it in the refrigerator and just have it and just slice off what you need. That's what I need to do, Mama, is make up a big old thing of compound butter. 
But we don't use it on a lot of things that we would use on some things. We can't afford that much steak, so don't worry about it. No, we only buy steaks when it's on sale. I guess that's what you all do, too. But some of may splurge. We, we do every once in a while. We do every once in a while, but uh, most of the time we catch them on sale, and that's when we will get them. I, I um, didn't want to freeze these. And they're not, T-bones are not my favorite. Um, I like ribeyes the best. So find a good sale on some ribeyes and I'll be there. Um, every once in a while, New York's are okay. But T-bones, these were, these were, these were half price. Can't beat a half price sale on some good T-bones. So um, we're going to fix these up in just a second. It won't take long and we're going to bake a potato. Mama, hand me that potato and I'll show them. I tore the paper off. It in the garbage. We buy these pre-wrapped potatoes, and I think they're Yukon Gold. And uh, we're just fixing one today because that's a big old potato. Uh, it, look, the camera don't look, don't give it justice. It's a big potato, and we'll just eat half of that. And uh, eat a, probably we'll eat one ribeye and put one in the refrigerator for uh, uh, lunch. We'll have lunches out of it, too, because that's really what we do, Aunt Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama don't eat much. She don't hardly eat anything. I'll eat up. She oh. eats different stuff besides mealtime. Don't you, Mom? I'm a snacker. Oops, I'm She's sorry. That's what I snacker. did. She's a Well, that's that big old spatula, but I... It was long handle. It long handle is what it is. It's okay. You didn't hurt it. Look at that. The butter's still good. And I'm just going to set that there and let that be uh, getting together. And we're going to come back and I'll show you how to fix those ribeyes. Mama's is going to put that potato in the microwave. That's the reason we like those. Uh, you just get those at the grocery store. They're pre-wrapped. I like the potato in it. Um, I mean, I can wrap a piece of saran wrap around any potato, but those really are good. Uh, we get them here at the Save Lot. And uh, they're pre-wrapped and you still them in there. And they've got a velvety texture on the inside we like. And uh, Mama, what else are you fixing? Green beans? Seven quarts of green beans yesterday. Uh -huh. Come over, Mama. I had uh, just a little handful <laughs> of green beans left, so I thought might as well go ahead and cook and them. And that's something green for today's lunch. That's yeah, true. and then we're going to have some lettuce and tomatoes some salad. and ca cabbage, and I can boil some eggs. And I guess I'll need to make some ranch. I want honey mustard is what I'm going to make. Mama's going to make honey mustard. I've not had honey mustard in a long time. So when we come back, Mama will show you how to make honey mustard. No. <laughs> You're going to make me work. Right, have you got the honey mustard made, Mama? No. you got to make the honey mustard, Mama? Yeah, if I eat any. Well, there you go. It's, I'm not asking you to do nothing extra. No. When we come back, Mama's going to show you how to make honey mustard. <laughs> and we'll have the honey mustard and salad, some homegrown green beans that was in the garden yesterday morning. And now they're going to be on our plate today. And I'm going to show you all how we uh, fix up these ribeyes quick and easy and almost foolproof. So uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Y'all hang on. <laughs> Okay, Mama's going to put together this honey mustard so we'll have it for our salad. Now, what we're doing right now, I've got the steaks laying over there, and they've been out about 10 minutes. I would like to leave them out about 30 minutes let them come to room temperature before I start on them. And they'll take about 7 minutes on one side and 4 on the other, so it won't take long. So, Mama, tell us what you got going on. This is a cup of mayonnaise. Cup of Hellman's mayonnaise. I don't know if you're going to be able to put that thing in our one. Yeah, here we go. I get my stuff all in. Go right here, Mama. I promise you, I'll put this in there. Well, that's an awful lot for a cup, I think. <laughs> oh, you see, it's a cup. She excused me of getting the wrong one. I just got these out for her. See, this is one of those things you have to be careful with, Mama. She don't really like to be helped much. Okay, and then I need a fourth a cup of honey. Right here it is, Mama. And this has been sprayed with a little oil before the honey went in. Mm -hmm. So let's see if it don't slide right out there for you. Oh, you're good. Mm-hmm. Well, it's going to have to have a little touch with that spatula, though. And now I need it full of uh, honey mm -hmm. mustard. Of honey mustard? I mean, well, I Mama, <laughs> I don't see any honey mustard on the table. What? I'm getting old and forgetful. Pure old mustard. <laughs> oh, here it is, Mama. 
<sighs> and then I'm gonna put just dash of the, this is onion powder, but you can use, it says onion salt, but we're gonna use. Onion salt is good, but it is salt. And uh, this is salt. This is not good. Sorry about that, Mr. Master. Um, it is salt, and uh, the onion powder's got enough salt in it. So I just sprinkle just a, two or three sprinkles in. A smidge and a smidge. Uh -huh. And this is. Believe it. Okay, I want y'all to watch this. Watch. Let me get a close up. Zoom in on Mama. I want to watch this. This is red cayenne. And watch her put it in a recipe. I'm just so impressed. <laughs> well, I have to have it. I don't put much. Mom, you're cooking with cayenne? <laughs> you're going to get me get too much in it. It just a couple of little tiny shakes. A shake, shake. So she put it there. A little. I'm so proud of you, Mama. Yeah. Now this is where the supersonic uh, chopper is so handy for making dressings. We just put all the ingredients in there. Mama's gonna clean off her spatula. Best I can. You do good, Mama. Okay, top. top now this it. is the cuff that goes with it, and this is the pull string. And it's so smooth. Mama, you've... Oh, did I get it on the side? Yeah, Mama, you got it everywhere. Oh, and I gotta have... Do I have to have a little oil, don't I? You do have to have some oil. How much? This this is in your memory. I know. Right there's your jar of oil. Here, I'll just put... We'll just put a little in there. No, I think it's a... I don't know if it's a fourth or a tablespoon. My mind ain't working. What's wrong with it, Mama? It must have went on vacation. We got to tell me about it. Your mind's on vacation? Mm -hmm. So if you couldn't go know where your mind went without you. We've had a good time today. We've liked and carried on in here. Uh, but that's what it's all about. Having a good time in the kitchen. Making some memories. Having some fun. Mama, you gonna look that up? You ain't gonna wing it? No, I'm not gonna wing it. Cause I'm you afraid to wing it, Mama? <laughs> I think it's a tablespoon of oil, Mama. I can't find it. While she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and be mixing this up so I don't just have to sit here and drink coffee. And you just pull this, mix it good, and it'll mix right up. You can tell that it's so smooth. Put a little olive oil in here, Mama. Don't worry, Mama. Don't fret. I it in here and I took it out to show you. She told me all the ingredients while ago. And uh, now she's worried about some oil. Well, while Mama's working on that, I'm going to tell you about the steaks. So I've got the steaks over there, and they are just getting to room temperature a little bit. And I'm going to brown them on all sides. And I'm going to cook them on the first side about seven minutes. And then I'm going to cook them on the second side about four minutes. And that's going to be a good medium, well, well, medium wire, medium well done. It won't be, it'll be warm pink center, whatever you want to call it. I never can. I'm one of those people at the restaurant. I say, yeah, I want that medium rare, but now what I want is a warm pink center. So I always have to. pour some. That's all right. We're going to get Okay, Mama, here's what we're going to do. I want you to fret not. Okay. Because I promise you Just it's a pour. tablespoon. Just pour a little bit in it. Comes I'm going to put one ounce in here. 1.5. Uh, 1.5 ounces, Mama, is what we put in there. Okay. You're good. Let that drain right in there. And I'm going to pull it again. You want to put another sprink sprinkle of uh, hot no, cayenne? No, how about some Frank's hot sauce? Keep pulling. Yes, ma'am. Of course, I probably over pulled because that's what I do. But look here, folks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can tell how good that is. Look at that. It looks really yellow on camera. It's not that yellow. It's more of a. It's it's a creamy yellow. But it is delicious. Look how well that's mixed. It's all in there. It's delicious. Mama, get your spoon and taste it, cause I don't, I don't want to take it out of here till you, you okay it, cause I probably pulled it the wrong way. 
Oh, you might have done that. There's your spoon. Oh, Mama, you the honey mustard expert. Here, I'll just give you a little bite. Yeah, you I'll take me a little bite right here. She wanted to use the spoon. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to see, see him get a whipping? <laughs> it's delicious, Mama, as usual. And look, that little 1.5 ounces of oil is all it needed. I know it had to have oil, but I can't remember exact amount. She stresses over some things, if you notice. So, folks, that's our honey mustard dressing. Quick and easy. So, Mama, let's go back over that for him because it may not get written down. Okay. Some of our recipes get written down and uh, added to the comments, and sometimes it's a day or two later, and sometimes we don't get around to it. Just be honest with you. That's the truth. So, it's a cup of mayonnaise, one cup of mayonnaise. You use the mayonnaise of your choice. It's one fourth cup of honey. Use whatever honey you want. Organic. We used great value. This is clover honey, but it don't really matter. We use local honey when we can get it. This was. And um, we use one fourth cup of mustard. And I put 1.5 ounces of olive oil. May be different if I find my recipe. But that's what this recipe is. And it's, it's delicious. Good. It's good. So that's what we're going with. Because you can have many recipes for the same thing. So one cup of mayonnaise, one fourth cup of honey, one fourth cup of mustard, yellow mustard, plain yellow mustard, and one um dash of one or two dashes of red cayenne and one dash or two dashes of uh, onion powder. That was it. That's everything that's in this little bucket here, and it's delicious. I can I can uh, I can vouch for it. It's deliciousness. All right. So now we're going to take another piles, and when we come back, we are going to brown those steaks up that have been setting out about 25 minutes now. So time we get it going, it'll be about right. 30 minutes at room temperature. Y'all hang out, okay? Okay, we're here at the stove. It's hard to get everything going at the stove where you can see and everything, so bear with me. I hope this will do it. Move this stuff right here. So all I'm going to do to these, they have been out of the refrigerator for about um, 30 minutes. And all I'm going to do to them is I'm going to uh, just sprinkle a little salt on them. Just like this. And I'm going to sprinkle a little pepper. This is just black green, ground pepper. Then I'm going to drizzle it with olive oil. Just like this. And I'm just going to rub that in on that side. So, salt, pepper, and olive oil. And then, because Mama likes it, and I do too, this is Montreal's um, Grill Mate Seasoning, McCormick. And I'm just going to sprinkle that on here, on top of that oil. Just like that. Now, into this skillet, I've not even turned it on yet. So, I'm going to turn it on, get it going. Since I'm going to finish it off in this skillet, I got the uh, grill skillet. This is on our web page, our Amazon link. And I'm just putting enough oil to make sure nothing sticks. Probably about two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And when this heats up just enough, I'm going to put these steaks with the season side down. We'll bet in just a second, let this pan get a little hot. Okay, our pan is hot. I can tell it's good and hot. I'm just going to lay these steaks in here. Here's the sizzle. This is going to be a, a skillet full. This will help them to sear on all sides. I know that's probably loud. I apologize. So on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Salt. 
and pepper. And olive oil. Spread that out in Montreal steak seasoning. And now we're going to let this cook on this side for about seven minutes. Okay, it's headed seven minutes on that side. Let's turn them over and see what we have on this side. Ah, oh, wonderful. Seared to perfection. Everybody in that skillet is going to have to turn them to that fit. Got to get everybody in the pool. And now, we're going to leave them four minutes on this side. I may have to sear the edges just a little bit. But that is looking good. I won't make y'all listen to all this noise. Hold on. Alright, so the steaks are done. I'm going to put our compound butter right on top. These are going to rest for about five minutes. And, uh, They'll be ready to eat, ready to cut. So let's get this butter on there and let it be doing what it does. Mm-hmm. All that deliciousness right there. Mm. And we'll be right back as soon as these rest. Well, it's all done, folks. Here it is. The T-bones have rested. And they've got the butter melting on them. There's the green beans, Mama's beautiful salad. And there's the eggs and tomatoes. And here's our half a potato. That's all we need. We're perfectly content with that. I'm going to cut this just to show you all um, the inside of the meat. So you put, let your meat rest for 30 minutes at room temperature so that when you, um, you all can't see that. I forget. Oh. Let your meat rest at 30 minutes at room temperature. Then put it in your skillet while it's good and hot. And uh, cook it on one side for about seven minutes. Cook it on the other side for um, about four. And that's it. Let it rest for for uh, 15 or five more minutes. Not 15. Five more minutes. And uh, right there is a beautiful medium well steak seven and four we'll get you that right there and uh like i said mama and i are neither one will eat a whole one of these so we're just going to cut it up just like this and when i'm done i'll take the rest of it off the bone and uh, cut it up and have it ready to eat the rest of the week well not the rest of the week tomorrow for lunch <laughs> i started to say the rest of the week not the rest of the week. It won't last that long. But He's going to put us on a diet. There'll be plenty for each of us to have some for lunch tomorrow. For sure. Because uh, this is a lot of meat. So, Mama, you did good getting some half price steaks. Yeah. I thought I did. I think you did excellent. Mama's getting our salad together. And there's our steak together. You it's want good and tender. On this? No, Mama, I don't need no bread. I'll no. just eat the good old salad while we got it. Good old homegrown. Well, that lettuce wasn't homegrown. No, oh, it sure was. All right, folks, that's Cucumber. it. Some cucumbers, some squash, and little purple onions I raised. And Half of it's from the garden, at least, ain't it, Mama? Mm -hmm. Is that enough eggs on it? Yes, ma'am. That's perfect. There you go, sir. And here's you some of these. These green beans were literally in the garden yesterday morning. That's enough for me. Mama said that's enough of that green stuff. I'm not too green to eat him. Now our honey mustard. I gotta have some. Our honey mustard, if you want to know what yield it was, is 12 ounces exactly. You can see right there in this little Tupperware 
dressing containers what we use it for uh, you can use it for smoothies or anything but it works got perfect for this cream, one for and we got one for cream one for dressings one for something else and uh, it's got a nice little lip on it i'm gonna go ahead and pour mine right now just a little bit on here get ready mom okay, I'll let's put uh, this salt and pepper okay. oh i've got you two peppers that's okay Sorry, right here so i don't need it though some have a seat mama let's bless it and oh, we'll okay. eat it hot today how's that, that sound sounds wonderful to me folks we're going to bless the food and then we're going to taste it Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. Dear Lord, we thank you for the hands that prepared it. Dear Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you will bless it for the nourishment of our body. Be with all those who are out there who are sick and hurting, dear Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you will just answer each and every prayer request. In your name and your glory, we pray. Amen. Amen. Mama, you get that taste since I cooked it. And tell me what you think. Well, I had a knife. Well, you can have well, use I'll that orange use one, Mama. this in a minute. I felt one Just don't cut over. yourself. You know they're good and sharp. Mm-mm-mm. Whoever made that steak did a good job. Oh, boy. Let me see if I can say that. Mm, yeah. Flavored good. Flavored to just great. And this, let's try your honey mustard. Mm -hmm. I didn't get my pepper on it. Mm. You missed your homemade. Well, I'm glad I kept this apron on. Oh, well, I didn't. I, I normally don't, but boy, today I did, and I'm glad. <laughs> Caught a little bit of honey mustard. Wiped that off easy. You though. got on a pretty shirt today. Well, thank you, Mama. You got on some pretty uh, foul colors. Okay. Have you embraced foul, Mama? I know you put it off as long as you can. I'm trying my best to embrace it. It's a little hard. You did plant with, with the mums and stuff. Look at these beautiful tomatoes. Still here. Got those yesterday. We're so glad. Oh, yes. Folks, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to say make you some memories. Find you something good to eat today and enjoy the day. It's supposed to be beautiful here all day. I hope it's beautiful where Get you're Get outside and see the nature going. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama, and God bless you and so. Bye-bye. Y'all have a good day.